These are a few of my favorite things. What did teachers do before Amazon? Most of the items that I have purchased for my classroom have come from Amazon, but in today's video, I am sharing some of my new favorite things. If you're new here, I'm Rachel Vincent, and I share tips on running effective and efficient classrooms so that you can get everything done and still have time to teach. So this first purchase is not actually a purchase I made this year. I made it last year, but I wanted to give it a good full year before I decided if it was well worth it. And that is my carpet. It is a very large carpet. I believe it's a seven by nine or seven by 10. I'm not exactly sure, but it is very large and fits the majority of my fourth grade students. It was definitely an investment piece and I budgeted for it, but I purchased it on Prime Day, which had an amazing deal. So I got this large carpet for only a hundred dollars. So I wanted to share it with you so that you can begin saving and thinking about it for next summer during Prime Days or maybe even during Cyber Monday sales, Black Friday deals, because it was definitely worth the investment. And to go with that purchase are these amazing rug grippers. Now, I have tried many things to keep the corners of my carpet from curling up. I don't know what it is, but the way students walk, they always knock up the corner of the carpet and eventually it just begins to curl no matter how many times you put something on it, flatten it back out, they kick it back up again. Well, these rug grippers are adhesive and they stick to the bottom of your carpet and then they stick to the floor and the carpet doesn't budge. It is the best rug holder, gripper, whatever that I have ever used. And the best part is it peels right off at the end of the year. I used these all last year and it peeled off, didn't leave a sticky residue on my carpet or on the floor. They worked wonderfully. If you've been around here before, you know I have talked about this before, and that is my clicker that advances Google Slides, PowerPoints, even flip charts on my Promethean board to the next slide. I will say I just recently purchased a new one. My previous one just really kind of stopped working. I had had it for about two years and it was only $15, so I wasn't expecting it to last forever. This new one I purchased looks exactly the same. The only difference is that it is battery operated instead of rechargeable. I just decided to go with it to see if that made a difference in the length, but it's $15 every two years if I have to. And to me, it is such a time saver. I don't have to stand at the board. I can walk around the classroom and teach when the students are on the carpet. I can move behind them and out of the way and allow students to go up to the board. It just gives me so much more freedom when I am teaching. This next item is new to me this year. I have seen it on TikTok and it is every bit worth the hype. It is the Tacket Glue. I have used it in two places in my classroom. The first place is I hot glued little magnets on the back of my lunch numbers for students to make their lunch choices in the morning. Throughout the year, something happens and they fall off. I don't know if they fall off because students drop them on the floor or they pick them off. I don't know, but I started replacing when the magnet falls off, replacing it with the sticky glue and it is wonderful. My students use it every day. At first they freak out a little about it because they're like, what is on it? Because it is actually sticky, but it keeps its stickiness and my students use it over and over again and it works wonderfully. It is wonderful if you have something that you want to move frequently. This next item is a game changer, especially when it came to classroom setup. If you watched any of my classroom setup videos, you saw me wear and talking about the neck fan. It was perfect for classroom setup, but I also love it because at my school, we do have air conditioning, which I know we are fortunate, but we also live in the South where it is warm the majority of the year. We don't have very cold winters. They cut our air off at two o'clock. Student, I am not off duty and students have not left the building. The last student leaves around 2.45. So that's 45 minutes I am still responsible for being in my classroom and doing things and it gets warm and toasty. So that neck fan is perfect for those afternoons when it is hot, we have recess in the afternoon and come in and it just keeps me nice and cool instead of feeling miserable. Since 2020, the majority of teaching has been digital and our students are one-to-one -one Chromebooks and require them to have headphones or earbuds. Now we put those on our back to school list and the beginning of the year starts wonderfully, but somewhere around October, November, 
some of those items start breaking, especially if parents haven't invested in quality ones and they get some of the cheaper ones, they just break. The Either the student isn't as careful with it or just the connection is just not working as well. So I like to purchase my students earbuds for either replacement or sometimes I've given them as a little Christmas gift. I've even done it as a Valentine's gift. When I start to notice that my students don't seem to have the earbuds, headphones, that's when I'll replace it. They are really, nice quality earbuds. They come in a pack of 25 and it is a reasonable price, which sometimes is hard to find when you're trying to find bulk items. So I highly recommend these earbuds. I have purchased them twice and I will be purchasing them again. This next item I love to use for my student's birthday. They are scratch off stickers and you simply just put the sticker over something you want students to scratch off to reveal. And I like to use them as a little birthday surprise when I give students their little goodies for their birthday so they could scratch off to see if they are a winner and they get a little extra prize from our treasure box or our sticker store. And it's just a fun little something to add to students' birthdays. But you could use this for many of things. They would be great for whole class incentives where students get to scratch off to find it. You could turn it into a center, but I really like that it's just a sticker you just stick on and they're good to go. I'm pretty sure I've talked about this before, but I can't let another video go by without mentioning our classroom clock. My school provided me with a analog clock that plugged into the wall, which I've never seen an uh, analog clock that plugs into the wall. But at some point in my past few years, it stopped working. And instead of asking them to get a new one, I decided I wanted to get a digital clock because even though we had a clock in the room, students aren't that fabulous at telling time on an analog clock, especially in a digital age where pretty much every clock is digital. I mean, even my Apple watch is digital. I decided to make it easier on myself instead of constantly having to answer the question, what time is it? What time does this happen? I bought a digital clock. So now students want to know what time is it? How much longer till lunch? They can look at the clock and know exactly what time it is. They can look at our schedule to see what time the next activity or subject event is and I no longer have to answer those when is lunch, when is recess questions. I am always looking for new ideas. I love watching Amazon videos. So I would love to know what is your favorite Amazon purchase for your classroom. Let me know in the comments below so that I can look it up and maybe get one for myself and my classroom. If you're wanting even more Amazon favorites, then check out the video that's on your screen now and I will see you over there.